this is a very complicated chart but i'm just trying to share with you this question has been asked so many times and we decided to draw a diagram for you okay reason is because every time i get i, I see someone say dr go can help me i say you you must define what is help where do you need help and all these things and they say i need this next next person say i need this another person say i've done this but i need this okay so what i do is i draw a whole table for you so what you want to do is draw a circle on the box that you want then we can discuss further because a lot of people think that bcp is will handle crisis bcp will not handle crisis i'm sorry to tell you that and people are beginning to say that my management we are trained but my management is not but we thought the bcp will help my management make the decision i'm sorry that's not the theory management has to be trained to work as a team to manage a crisis of which bcp is one of the biggest crisis right so the concept of management taking lead ownership of a problem at especially a crisis is something that is coming up now so over the last six months i'm seeing a lot of requests to just train people on crisis management and especially as senior management if you can run them through a half day workshop and embarrass them i'm not joking then they know what they do not know this is a very important thing that you may want to think through but remember when you want to embarrass senior management make sure they am, they are embarrassed among their peers so when we run such crisis if you are too junior rank I'll, I'll send you out of the room no replacement it has to be that way because we assume that you are not there and the management existing management team will assume that role of managing the crisis all right so that as senior management we will laugh at each other how stupid we are but not in front of junior officers nothing personal this is what we we find very useful okay once you've done that oops sorry no no it's not it's just an incident don't worry ah <laughs> uh, never attend my course this is not a disaster this is not a crisis this is just an incident then there's a proper response to incident which is press one more button if not my backup will come okay <laughs> okay so basically what happened is this is what this is the part that we train the coordinators now i want to highlight to you for those who are not used to have not seen us before one of the major failing of a uh, bcm project is this we use a consultant to solve a problem i'm not against consultants to solving a problem i'm against consultant doing everything for you because next year you call me back the way i adopt i'm not interested i do not want to come back most of my clients we they're doing the second and third audit already. i'm not back the only thing i did for you is to train your people who have been turned over because you must sustain this program not the deployment consultant the deployment, the consultant is to help you do the jump the, to build the, the to beat the bureaucracy and to beat up your management <laughs> seriously that's the correct term i'm using beat up the management because to them they they do not understand and you are in within the system you cannot tell the management what they're wrong so this is the part that you can deploy the rest you should make sure that you know and a lot of people have done iso before what do you do you train the people before the auditors comes in right most of iso auditors here will start to knock your head or they are well trained no you do not train you they will come in and they can choose anybody in my team and audit it that's what i i, I do in my in in our delivery all right so this is a very important so what we do is this is where training takes place and if the consulting teams want to help this is where we help so those in green will be done by consultants in, Singapore, in around the region we have actually bcm institute will do the training and uh, the consulting team will take over the rest up to testing up to continue doing the internal audit internal audit sometimes we do a third party to come in because the consultants cannot do the audit all right even if we do the audit we will make sure that the consultant is not involved in this project a second consultant who is independent so once you're ready then we start to train auditors get the auditors trained because you, if you don't train them properly you are asking for trouble they will be using the audit list that i took from pwc okay which is just 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 ask as many questions as possible so remember the objective is to make sure that they value add to your uh, requirement and finally this is where we 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 stand by the certification auditor i need to warn you sir auditors certification auditors need to be stand by at least two to three months ahead of time a lot of people thought that we can call them next week they'll come in okay please stand by them the reason why we don't dare to put them on standby is because we are not confident that you will finish on that date 
but for us when we start from this phase we will tell you exactly when is your stage one stage two audit and when you will get your cert that's how confident we are all right so some of the auditors here will know because uh, every time I will walk into the when there's a stage one stage two audit I always go and visit them and I love it because uh, um, it's just to shake hand and say thank you uh, provisionally we give you a pass I'm very happy about that all right so this is what we have so this is the roadmap